who would raise the fallen Jacob. Jacob had fallen. You know the falling of someone who is high is highly noticed, is highly pronounced. So people will say, ah, who is going to raise this giant that has fallen? I don't know where anyone here has fallen. But read my lips. The Lord is raising you up in the name of Jesus. I have a covenant with God to speak today on all grants. In fact, I'm to mention names. But I'm trying to prevent myself from doing that. But just know that anything that comes out and it has to do with your life, note that your name is already there. You didn't shout that amen very well. I told somebody I was talking with, I think I've seen the sister here. She came to talk about her husband's finances. She was talking smoothly. But she could not control something. Tears was coming out of Tears were rolling. You will know that this woman did not want to cry. I don't know whether we have seen the situation before. Somebody who wants to cry, you will know. You will have seen the countenance. But this one was composed until the thing dropped like this. Because we were facing each other. So she wanted to, for me not to see. How will I not see me and somebody sitting like this? Even before the thing dropped here, I have seen it. Then we were praying. Sometimes I just look at one corner there. I saw somebody. Tears were flowing. Anyone here that you are crying concerning a thing, it is settled in the name of Jesus. I went to my closet. I told God, I said, look at these children of yours. Cry. Your own children. The people they are called you by his name or they called by your names. If Satan, people have been called satanic names and they are in satanic churches, they are in satanic arrangement, they are in satanic all things and they have been blessed. Daddy, what are you looking for? What are you waiting for? So I'm standing here today. As the one who serves the most high God, the most influential, the one that has everything. And I assure you prophetically that for the past seven days we have been fasting. Today the Lord crowned it with success in the name of Jesus. You didn't shout the amen very well. You didn't shout the amen very well. You didn't shout the amen very well. From now you have the right to become what devil thinks you will not become in the name of Jesus. You have the license. You know there are certain things in this country you cannot just impose certain things except your license. Some solid minerals you cannot just say you want to go and begin to dig the ground. If they cash you there you are in trouble. But when you have your license and somebody comes in there and says, who are you? I say, yes. who are you too? You say, me? Who are you? Yes, who are you, sir? You are even respecting him. And you are saying, sir, who are you? There's a license here. That yes, I can. So, some of you, you have not gotten there because you don't have the license. What the Lord said to me, he said, distribute licenses. So, from now, you have gotten your license. <laughs> You are working somewhere, they said, until you belong to one Kaaba. That they cannot make you the head. I cancel that today in the name of Jesus. Because of you, the Kaaba will collapse. There will be a disorganization. There will be a disorientation. Shout your amen. I can't remember when, maybe when I was in the university. The position of vice chancellor there. 
unless I think about three professors, they were strong contenders. It became, the whole place became troubled. And somebody did not even bother. One of the professors, he didn't bother. He was just doing his own thing. Because he knew the powerful people, they are there. He is meant for them. The position is meant for them. But this happened to be a prayer individual. Now they call these three professors, step down for yourself. They said, no, me, step down for this. No, God, you know, grandma now. The people who were to vote and to do others, they said, we are tired of you. We are not picking any one of you again. We are looking for a compromise candidate. Hey, somebody who never expected it. Professor, so, 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 so. Compromise candidate. It was like a play. It was like a play. They were drumming. They were dramatizing. People were acting scenes. It will be. It will not be. Until he was inaugurated as the vice chancellor. You will get to the peak of your careers. I said to God, I have five letters that I want to come and show to you here very shortly. For people that will have gotten to the peak of their careers. For people that will have become managing director and chief executive officer of the establishment. For people who will have been in charge, taking over. Five solid letters. For people who have been looking for the fruit of the worms that I will specially carry their babies here. And the Lord will say to it in Jesus' name. Every one of you that is lacking one good thing or the other, as this program winds up, the Lord will rise up and give it to you. I didn't hear your amen very well. God of all flesh is sending me to you that this reproach or reproaches shall be subdued in the name of Jesus. By the closing of this program, this intensive waiting upon the Lord, <laughs> everything that will be coming to you will not be the same that you have been receiving, but greater than your expectations. Greater than the vision they have given to you. Greater than the revelation you yourself have seen. Greater than anything you can portray in your heart in the name of Jesus. How do you come about it? People will ask you. Because it will be greater than you. You didn't shout your amen very well. Reproaches that will not make one credentials to be what is expected to be. The second Kings chapter number five, verse one, verse two, you see the credentials of that man, name and there. But there was one small thing that spoiled the credit credential. If there's anything spoiling anybody's credential in this assembly, the blood of Jesus will wipe it off in the name of Jesus. You are successful. You are a success. Your location will change. I wrote something here. You are elected or you are appointed. They will, you know, election is a certificate of return. You go to house. Go. I was asking myself, you take the certificate there. And they will say, oh, all right. Go and sit down there. The head of the place will welcome you. And before you know it, they begin to give you several things. 
that you never thought about. Just because what God has done for you has actually made you to qualify. So many good things you will qualify for in the name of Jesus. Can I hear your amen one more time? You are an achiever from today. A license overcomer. In all ramifications of life. Every danger soon you have. Unfriendly environment. You will survive it in the name of Jesus. From today, your life becomes a danger zone to the kingdom of darkness. When they come near where you are, where your children are, fire of the Lord will consume them. You know one thing I have seen about you? Everything about you, including your troubles, are pointing to positive fulfillment in the name of Jesus. The more you are troubled, the more you are lifted up, the more you are dejected, the more God will raise you up, the more you have suffered, the greater you will enjoy from today in the name of Jesus. Can I hear your amen one more time? Can I hear your amen one more time? Can I hear your amen one more time? I'm checking your time. Let me round up. Well, hear this. What pleases God, you will begin to do from today in the name of Jesus. When Brian Lee was giving you test, you know he was talking. I think he talks like uh, an evil man. I don't care him. Around 3.45 a.m. We are rushing my... I don't know which one he was even saying. We are rushing my wife to the hospital. Hey, he has delivered inside the vehicle. Hey, what is it, Brian Lee? The baby could not talk. And I remember in those days when they said, baby, you just born. You, know, you don't hit it. I know they will have hit that... I wanted to jump out from where I was. I wanted to go and drive. He was oh, he sorrow. Ah. But it was an odd time. I said, okay, don't worry. He, the, the baby will talk as the Lord liveth. If there is anything that is silence in your life, the hand of the Lord will touch it in the name of Jesus. That's, that's not even what I wanted to share. I wanted to share two things. Because what God will do, the light in, if you are doing it, then of course your blessing will be so high. The first one, I'm sorry, I just want to use myself as an example. One of our brothers, I don't know whether he's around now. So he came, I think a previous day, to talk about certain things. I said, all right, go and do so, so, so. Put them on paper as directed by the Holy Spirit so that we can talk. And I instructed him specifically. Tomorrow's service, let the paper get into my hand because God said, from the beginning of the service to the end of the service, pray on it, and I will resolve the whole issue. You know, this lateness of the thing, we have started service. And he sent a note with that thing. I wanted to tear the note and everything. But because I always want to read, I read, I read, as I was saying, I'm sorry. Sir. The more you say you are sorry, you are late, I'm becoming too. You know what? <laughs> when he finished that thing, the only thing that qualified him was that he now put something there. 
He said, your soul. Ah, that thing really changed my countenance. He said, your soul. Ah. What I'm telling you is that what the Lord delights in from today, you will begin to know the secret in the name of Jesus. It changed the whole thing. And I lifted up that thing. I said, God, forget about my annoyance. Forget about his lateness. Do something about this. Somebody sent a note three, four days ago. I have been looking for this. I have been looking for that. And she ended it and said, the daughter of a prophet must not suffer. I said, ah, ah. How can people be talking like this for heaven's sake? I said, okay, how much do you need? He said, I just asked you to pray. No, 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 forget about prayer. We must resolve it one-on-one -on -one like this. There are certain things you don't need to pray about. We are getting there in the name of Jesus. Some of you, you will come, you need... 10,000, 20,000, you need 100,000, you need 1 million naira to do a business. We, may, we don't need to pray about it again. Very shortly. Very shortly. We just ask you, we want to be sure how serious you are. Then we put some mechanism into place for you to be serious and return the money. We are getting there very shortly in the name of Jesus. You are not shouting your Amen. So finally, like I said, what the Lord delights in, He will expose you to it in the name of Jesus. You will not walk against God in all directions in the name of Jesus. When I was younger than this, anytime in the school, primary school, they would always teach us when you are going home or you are coming to school, you don't move on the road and you are back in the traffic they will always educate us that face the traffic so that the vehicle that is misbehaving you can quickly jump out of the road but again I now remember that that is that sometimes one can be walking in the same direction with the wind you are confronting the storm it's always a terrible situation. If you are there and storm is coming and is confronting you, I release an extraordinary power upon you to consume every storm in the name of Jesus. They say inside the bush, if thunder strikes thunder can hit any tree mahogany iroko obeshe what they call one tree in yoruba igila initially i thought igila they were referring to a tree that is big later i got to know no the name is actually Igila. That when thunder, storms are coming, is either to change direction. When they approach where that tree is, or they get subdued by its root. I also learned that if the leaves of that tree will never touch the ground. Not that leaves were not dropping that leaves will be dropping but all his leaves will be suspended because you will have so many things here and there so those who want to make use of the leaves of they know how to get it I also learned that where that tree is you can't find some kilometers away Nothing like any tree, nothing like any shrub. Ordinary tree. And you are a human being. If God can give a tree such honor, 
Why will you not be honored? As you rise up to see your amen, honor from above, I release upon you in the name of Jesus. The honor will follow you. No insult again. Enough of insult to you. No lack any longer. Oh God, you will carry your blessings. Oh God, you will carry your blessings. You were having before, you are not having again. It's over in the name of Jesus. You have looked for job you cannot find. It's over in the name of Jesus. You have fasted and fasted. No promotion comes your way. It's over in the name of Jesus. Even in your office, it's like you are in a furnace. Because people have seen that you have a mission to be lifted up. And they are bombarding you with so many things. They have made the office to become a hot zone unto you. As you step in there tomorrow, all those guys that are against you, the Lord will punish them in the name of Jesus. You are looking for admission and it didn't come. The admission will come now in the name of Jesus. You know, this daddy, daddy, that daddy was, <laughs> when he came to me and he was saying, I have come to tell you what God has done for me. I didn't say anything, I just laughed. Because I didn't know when our daughter told him, but I already have the letter of admission on my WhatsApp. close to the end of the year, I just saw her on WhatsApp. I said, you have been running away from me. There is an information you need to tell me. He said, yes. Three days before that time, God said I should look for her. I was looking for her. I cannot find her. And now look for her on phone. You know when you cannot find people, you will always find that person on phone. I said, I have not been seeing you. Where are you? He said, sir, today they are carrying our paper to jump office. And when that thing came, she didn't even say, I have gotten admission. She snapped it and sent to me. When the father was talking, I was just laughing. I didn't want to be as if I am superior to him. So, but I'm saying it now. Your own message of that greatness, you will send to us very shortly in the name of Jesus. So just lift up your voice and say this prayer point. Father, as we round up this week of grace, I am stepping out of this assembly. Make me to step into that greatness that you have provided for me. And I don't know when something else you want to step into. I want you to begin to speak to God. I want to step into this. I want to step into that. As I step out of this place today, child of God, open your mouth and pray. It's just going to be about three, four minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, that happened to be the closing prophetic remark. Please go in that strength. Go in that anointing. Go and subdue. Go and destabilize. Go and settle down. Go and swallow up. Go and uproot. Everything that needs to be uprooted for you to go there and for you to get there. Go and uproot it. Everything that needs to die for you to get there. Let the Lord go and kill that sin. Let those things be killed in the name of Jesus. Your fasting, your prayer will never be in vain. 
God Almighty shall bring things unto you afresh. He shall make sure that from now you not suffer again. Surprising packages from the throne of power shall come upon you. This year, this year, 2018, God will surprise you. He will bring at your back and call the best of this land. You will eat the best. You will enjoy the best. You will live in the best. You will control the best. Best of good things will be your portion in the name of Jesus. I care less where you have actually come from. I care less what have you been carrying and you call it causes because you are far beyond all those things. You are sitting above principalities and power. You are sitting above causes. I don't care. You go home and you begin to have a dream. Let the dream be anything. You are assured prophetically that you will sing a new song. Let all kings of this heart, let them gather together. Let all rulers say no to what we have said. It will not change it in the name of Jesus. God Almighty that call us is the one that asks us to do what we are doing. And he will back it up in the name of Jesus. You these children, small, small boys and guys that run after us, that tarries here all the time to work for God. I am standing here to decree concerning your lives. You are just coming, you will come here, you sit down, you walk here as if you are a messenger. Oh, I use my anointing to bless you. And I say you are a blessed person. God will turn this around for you. Very soon, when you remember this time in your life, you will glorify the name of the Lord in the name of Jesus. All of you that believe in the anointing, the anointing will profit you. I said the anointing will profit you. The anointing will stand for you. The anointing will go after you. The anointing will go before you. It will simplify everything concerning you. So shall it be in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Lift up your water. How many of you didn't come? Put your water down. Those of you didn't come on Thursday. Thursday and Friday. You didn't come. You didn't have portion in the water that we have done here. There's a grace in the house. There's a grace in the house now. I am not talking about those of you who have received. But those who have not received. And you are interested. There's a grace in the house. Please can you live wherever you are and come up hither to come and receive. When you take it in your mouth, if it's bitter, that's why